So I bring in all the wishes and greetings to Dr. Renu Kumari Patak for scoring rank number 9 in AML and CML in the field of DM Neonatology in the SS April 2023 session. Congratulations to you, Doctor. Thank you so much, sir. So can we know a brief background history from where you started till date? Sir, I have done my UG from Army College of Medical Sciences, New Delhi, and uh, MD Pediatrics from VMMC Subtergent, Delhi only, sir. And uh, so my only dream is to join Indian Army because I am from Army background and it's a legacy that every generation has to serve. So uh, after my MD, I clear Army interview and I joined, I commissioned as captain. Then uh, within one year, I promoted to major rank. Everything was fine. But after my marriage, my husband is not from Army background. So it was very difficult because my mother is alone. I have to take care of both the families. So uh, I speak to my commanding officer regarding this issue. So sir said, you are in a probation period and you can ask for release. So uh, luckily the things favored and I got a release. And the moment my letter was signed, sanctioned for release, I start preparing for INISS. And initially I uh, see all the toppers video which are available on the YouTube. So uh, I have seen most of the toppers are from Speed Institute. I have seen uh, Heyman Sir video, Harshita Ma'am video. So one thing which is very common that everybody said that common topics and the previously asked topics were very important and uh, the multiple revision is required. Since I have lived only three, four months. So I uh, initially I was reading Nelson, but I thought yeah, I was not up to the mark because I, it's been like one and a half year. I was not in touch with regular you know, updates. So I joined uh, Speed Institute. And after seeing Neera's video, it just opened my eyes. So because I was thinking it was not, I'm studying not up to the mark. But after seeing so video, her her classes were so conceptual, so you can relate it. But like reading uh, AIMS protocol and solving MCQ was not helping me. But uh, and Kluhati was not able to you know consolidate. So after Sir's video, because there was a schedule in speed, uh, so um, according to that schedule, I read the topic before uh, the attending the Sir class with the Kluhati and uh, attending the Sir class, and after again I read. So after sir, uh, class, it was very easy to understand Kluhati. And uh, sir said initially in the first lecture only, if you read in breadth, it will take time to get selected. But if you read in depth, you might get it. <laughs> so that is the so that is the my own uh, whole strategy. I just blindly follow Neeraj Mishra sir, so whatever he said in the class and whatever the topic he was taught by him, I read around the topic. And whenever he said it is a previous year question, I just marked it and I read it. I have read very selectively, sir. And uh, since INISS, uh, there was 60 questions, I think, from neonatology. And there is a dedicated, every time there's a dedicated questions from the ventilation, ABG, biostats. So I have given two to three uh, the days for biostats. And this time, I think five or six questions were there. And I luckily <laughs> got corrected. So, so that is the only thing I did, sir. So how many questions you answered this exam? So I was very selective. So and uh, I have read very selectively. So I had not marked because of the negative marking. So I have attempted only 70 questions, sir. But okay. out of that, I was uh, uh, confirmed that 50 was more than 50 will be correct. Correct, correct. So that was the accuracy, sir. So what is the duration? How many hours you used to spend for this? How much of questions you used to work out? I mean, how, how was your preparation in, in into the preparation? So I initially, sir, I used to study eight to 10 hours. Not uh, hours were not important. I make a list of like 10 to 15 topics in a day. And I make sure before I go to the bed, I will complete the topic. And on the next day, uh, in the morning, I read or revise all the topics which I have read previous, previous day. So that was a uh, time I have done multiple revision of the common topics, sir. So that has uh, helped me. Sir. Sir, sir, working out of MC grant test, something. Ha, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I have attended uh, mostly the neonatology MCQs and all the grant tests. Actually, these were very helpful in uh, covering the general pediatrics part. Because How many questions from general pediatrics? Sir, I think uh, uh, 20 questions were there from general pediatrics, sir. Those were from only from Nelson? Uh, sir, mostly uh, they are from Nelson only. And uh, some are like the WHO theme. These are questions like 
if you know you can market <laughs> so very good very nice doctor and uh, so how is this doctor i mean the, the release means we have to finish and we have to go back or something like that what is the uh, to the no sir so matlab uh, there is a stipulated time but during that time i was working only okay. and after my release like three months back then i was able to dedicately give time to inss very nice sir what is the message that you want to give uh, to the aspirants of uh, dm uh, super specialty pediatrics and dm neurology so first thing you should believe in yourself because it was my first attempt and i just follow uh, nearest mishra sir it, it, the speed classes i really helpful especially the nearest sir make you understand the ventilation so matlab nicely that you can, it will help in your practice only so uh, during if you are in md you should focus seeing the patient because they are only clinical questions in a practical they will show the video of you know seizure and they will eeg so it this very clinical they show a one maneuver of neurological examination so you should thorough with your clinics and after doing md pediatric i said you should uh, during md you should dedicate time to general pediatrics that is more important and find your interest so that is for this and those who have uh, you know uh, preparing for this i think believing yourself and just follow uh, you should have one mentor because it is not easy to read nelson completely so if somebody is there to guide you so i think uh, you feel confident because uh, sir uh, before starting uh, next class sir will give 10 questions uh, and ask ki how many you have made correct so i try to make it like seven or eight correct <laughs> and uh, before exams i also put uh, questions on the telegram so i used to uh, like whenever sir put the question i matlab are able to ask i matlab answer that question so if i am um, am like able to answer sir question though i will get it through that was the confidence i will get in sir very very nice doctor so it's time to thank and whom all you want to thank you can use this platform to thank all them you want to do so so initially uh, my mom i think she is a constant support throughout the journey my husband he, he is very very supportive and uh, my you know uh, my family entire family my laws are very very supportive sir and a special thanks to dr sparsh gupta sir he is uh, been my mentor since my ug days so and sir is very matlab any big decision in my life i always consult him that is uh, like a mentor a guardian to me and a special thanks to my unit 162 mh where i last posted my commanding officer every officer who has helped me during my you know transition period so i really thank and especially a special special thanks to neeraj mishra sir and the whole team of uh, you know speed i've seen other videos also but uh, they were also good but i was totally focused on neonatology and sir's uh, video is let literally very help me sir to get this rank sir very very nice great of you doctor and uh, all will feel good after watching this video and definitely they feel very happy uh, thank you so much sir for second we wish you all the best and all the success for a great career in neonatology and uh, thank you so much and sir. keep inspiring like this always and your service will go into save millions of life uh, in years to come advance wishes to you thank you so much sir thank you sir it's an honor to talk to you sir thank you sir thank you doctor